Today on Strange Places, the Chicago Urbex Mafia teams up with legendary explorer Steve Roney to venture into an infamous clock tower where legend has it a brutal murder took place at the top. But during the seemingly routine explore, things begin to take a strange turn. Who's that? Wait, what the f That was totally in the building. It yeah. sounded like it came from up. Yeah, that happened right above us. Who the f is making that noise? Somebody else. Oh, come on. Something Yo, else. that was. Was someone with us in the clock tower, or is the tower cursed by the brutal events that occurred years ago? Steve just said he heard something from this room. I heard it. I saw a shadow. This is Strange Places. Hello, welcome to Strange Places, where we go places that most people wouldn't dare to venture. And I am your host, Max Power. Today on Strange Places, we are going to be exploring this huge clock tower and this is apparently where a, a murder happened there was a there was a murder at the very top of the clock tower and we're gonna go climb all the way up all the way up to the roof and we're actually going to see the place where the murder took place and where they hid the body it's a very grim story guys if you haven't already please go down there right now hit that like button hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on it really helps me out a lot and here's the best part you'll be able to see strange places videos the moment they come out so go down there right now it will take you five seconds now we take you to the abandoned clock tower on Strange Places. Okay, we're getting up right now. Uh, it's pretty risky. There's like security everywhere and we're completely in the open because we're going up the stairs right now. So yeah, this is gonna be a great explore. Uh, people who've been caught by security. That's why this is only um, a night operation. So let's go. Sketch. The only entrance to the tower was through the top floor. So our first task was to climb this aging fire escape littered with holes and missing stairs. Yeah. Yeah, we got cars everywhere. We're pretty visible up here. Once we made it to the top, we headed down the internal stairway all the way to the basement. This is the basement. Not much to see here, except for this thing. This is an electric motor or a generator of some sort. That's kind of cool. Okay guys, so we're in the lobby right now because this used to be studio apartments. This is their lobby. Um, everyone's just leaving. I'm gonna check out the lobby. Oh, what the? There's like nothing in here. Oh shoot, there's another upstairs, hold up. See, this is why you explore everything. What's up here? This is the first, ah, oh, that's pretty cool. This is like a, uh, this is where someone slept. This would be a good hobo hangout. Child. Then I heard the first of a series of unexplainable and strange noises that plagued us throughout our explore. Who's that? Wait, what the f What was that? Hey. Yo, there's someone here. What was that? I don't want to freak anyone out, so I don't think I'm going to tell anyone about that. Uh, it sounded like someone was trying to get in the main doors. <laughs> What's AJ doing? I'm here with AJ. I'm here with Esme from Obsolete Urbex. I'm, of course, here with Steve Ronan. I'm here with Vitus, you guys know Vitus, Vitus Adventures, and of course, the legendary Coma Chills. So, right now, we're on the second floor. Lights, bro. Lights, lights out. Oh, upstairs? Yeah. It seemed as though the higher we climbed, the more unexplainable noises occurred. After a few loud bangs, we decided to take some precautions to ensure that no one with malicious intentions was in the clock tower with us. So guys, what we're doing now is we're clearing every floor and make sure... Did we clear the floor below us? Yeah. Wait, you just heard that noise too? We were, we were in there. Yeah, the big boom. Yeah. Yeah. That was you. 
Yeah, yeah we oh, thought it was you. Yeah. That was totally in the building. It yeah. sounded like it came from up. Yeah, that happened right above us. I got a weapon up. Right now, like, like this is, uh, so right now I got, I got this out. I don't know what it is, but it's uh it's a pretty decent weapon. Cause we're clearing it before. You know, you never know who's in here. We gotta have, uh... Is that another one? That was another no, one. that was from outside. We're good. Oh, sh I heard that. Is that, is that us or is it? Who the f is making that noise? I'm not sure. That room clear? What's the, did you clear the room, Como? Yeah, bro. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep recording everything. Well, guys, there's something in that room. Hey, you heard that? Wait, for real? Yeah. Oh, wait, yo, let me go. He's in the corner. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Steve just said he heard something from this room. I heard it, I saw a shadow. It's just Esme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to beat with that. You heard that? Oh, shit. On the outside, right? I did. Yeah. That was. Oh. We're standing there, and it shook, like literally shook us. Like it sounded like it was right above. We us. are in an industrial area. Oh, All right. What the? F was that? What was that? Wait, for real? What was? We. No. Wait, where's Coma? What? Coma's over. Wait, Coma, where the f are you? Someone throw something at us? No way. Dude, I've been here the whole time. No way. I'll f you up. Who the f is he in here? Wait, what? Bro, I'll f somebody out. Come on. Throwing something Yo, that us. was what the actual hell. We thought it was you. I thought it was like you throwing stuff, and then like we came. It was somewhere over here. Yo, Viatus. Dude, There's where's nothing this, up here? Where is this coming from? There's nothing up here. Wait, what? The okay, you think you're in here? There's no one in there, bro. Tell me. Did anyone go in there? Huh? What does it say? Here. Is, that is he responsible? No. Yo, interrogate him. Yo, are you responsible for this? Door. Also Better start talking. <laughs> get, get your GoPros on. Because you're gonna, it's it's a climb. Yo, but how did this happen? How was there something, how was there a sound over here? I suppose this mystery will be left unsolved. That's a long way down, and that's the elevator shaft. What is this? Oh, let's climb that ladder? That's a train. <laughs> wow, really? Bro, Guys, we found a UFO. Oh my god. <laughs> this was as far as the stairs would take us. To get onto the roof, we had to climb multiple stories of ladder. Guys, we're about to make the climb to the top. AJ said this is a giant drain, this UFO looking thing. Yeah, I would have put that in the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail that we were going to use. Yeah, and then we decided that that'd be too clickbaity, so we decided not to use that thumbnail. and Instead, we used oh, the lame thumbnail that you see on the video today. Um, you forgot about that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, what's up here? Ooh. Okay. So one of the people that used to live here was trying to escape this dude, and they came through here, and the murder scene happened all the way on the top of this yeah. clock tower. Well, is it all over there? All right, we got more of a climb. As you can see, our boy, our boy Vitus. Yeah, Okay, so you're gonna have to get really close to the ladder when you get up there. Are you trying to? Real note. I heard this from a local, but the dead body was like dumped right here, and it was here for months. The cops found out about it. Apparently, this is where the body was sitting. We're still heading towards the roof. This is some. This is like some national treasure level going on. <laughs> Board is like shaky. Yeah, I know. It's scary. This is the giant drainage thing. This is this is where oh. the body sat for months. When they found it, it was like pretty <laughs> nasty. That's a really bad way to go. Oh, check out the view, guys. We made it to the top. <sighs>
can't right. see well enough. Made it to the top. That was a that was a dope climb. We did some National Treasure Indiana Jones level stuff to get up here. Climbing ladders, very dangerous ladders, ducking in between scaffolding. It's all worth it because the view is magnificent. This is our city. This is the Chicago Airbex Mafia city. I love this, dude. Okay, ready? This is the classic shot. We always gotta get this. Why is doing some what? crazy? And this craziness is brought to you by none other than Vyas. Ah, oh, Jesus, Steve's, Steve's, con oh my God, he's converting to craziness. Oh, ah, oh, Jesus. That smile says all. All you could do is smile back. Yeah, wait, what the hell? Yo, is Vyas just freaking sleeping? Yo, bro, wake up. Bro, <laughs> wait, what? This guy's, this man is asleep. This man is literally asleep. What the? Bro, wake up. I was just resting my eyes, bro. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'm your host, Max Power. See you next time on Strange Places. I completely forgot what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> that was like so dramatic, like he was turning around, he's like... Yeah, that's a good blooper.